So this is all about finding unknown angle, okay? Um, and we'll just go through a question, okay? So if you had a triangle, what specific type of triangle should it be, Arjun? This whole topic is specifically talking about a particular triangle. Oh yeah, right angle. Right angle triangle, great. Okay, so for example, if I was to find out this particular angle, which is theta, so 4B will be for homework. So if you're not sure how to do it, I'm going through it now. Um, this angle, and let's say for example, you had uh, three meters and six meters. Okay, cool. We need to find out this angle, okay? And the way we're gonna go about it is literally the same way we did it to find out the unknown side length. Harper, what's the first step that I usually go through? Label, cool, let's label it. Cool, so what are you gonna label this side, Harper? Which side? This side, the three meters. Um, opposite. opposite, brilliant work, Harper. Jude, what about this side here? Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, okay. Hypotenuse, great. So this is our theta. So theta is what do we call in algebra when, when there's no number associated with it? What do we call that in algebra? When we're trying to solve for something. It starts with letter U. Unknown. Okay, so this is an unknown. So that's your theta, we have no idea. And that's the whole process of this particular topic. We're trying to find the unknown. Okay, cool. So after labeling, we've done that, cool. Now the second step is writing down what you know. So what do we know from this triangle, Harper? What do we know from this triangle? O is equal to three. O is equal to three. What else do we know? H equals six. Sorry? H equals, H equals six, okay. Slowly, slowly, you become familiar with this O and H and already some people are thinking about sine. Okay, what else? Do we know theta? No, we don't. Cool, when we put that question mark, we're actually telling our brain we need to figure out what this is. What's our third step gonna be then, June? Uh, the, um, the yeah, well done, good memory, June. So you're gonna write down the equation or trig ratio. So looking at O and H, what's the trig ratio gonna be, Clementine? So, so well done. Guys, just remember, you just did this topic, you just started. Okay, so if you're getting familiar with the trig ratios, it's going to be a process. Yeah. When they solve the x, does the x always have to be at the top? top? Yeah. yeah. And when it's at the bottom, you've got to bring it to the top by timesing it to that side. You're doing that question, which is difficult. Yeah. So you bring it to the left and you times it. So okay. if it's x times cos thirty-five. When you're like identifying like o and h, and yep. then saying that's like o and h, how do you know? If it's like A on top of O, is it like in the Oh, because it's in that ratio. So if it's cos car, it's going to be A over H. Oh, so it's like the yeah. Order yeah, in that order, yeah. So the trig ratio here, Arjun, is what? What's the trig ratio for this? O and H. Cos sine. Sine, well done, which is? So, which is sine theta equals O over H. Brilliant. What's the fourth step going to be after this, Archer? Yeah, we've written the equation. What's the next step? What's the next step? There's one more substitute. substitute. What are you going to substitute? What does it mean by substitute? Replace, right? What are you going to replace these things with? Yeah, with the known values. So, are you going to look at this triangle? Do you need to look at this triangle now? No, you just, Jude, you just have to look at this now. A lot of people, when they look at the triangle, they might use this as a H. Look at what you know. That's the whole point of writing this. You don't have to look back at this triangle. So when we substitute, what are you going to do then? Sine, theta. Do we know the value for theta? No, we don't. So we're just going to write theta. Do we know O? Um, Papa, do we know O? No. Oh, three. Three, great. And then do we know H? Do we know H? Yeah. Yes, what's that gonna be? Uh, six. six, brilliant, okay. Now, this is the part where if you're not paying attention and you, you're struggling on this topic, I'll pay attention now. How do we solve for theta? Like, when we solve for X, we gotta make X by itself. How, Archer, how are we gonna make theta by itself? What do we need to get rid of? 
something's bothering that theta. Ebony. The sign. Well done. Yeah. Um, Great. So the printer broke down like three times trying to print this. And okay. I don't know if everything I've been doing. Okay. Awesome. That's all right. I'll, yeah. I'll, 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 okay. yeah, I'll sort that and then give it to you at the end. So yeah, the sign. Well done, Ebony. So sign is bothering that theta. How do we get rid of the sign, Zach? Sign inverse. So the word inverse usually means what? The what? Yeah, it's to the power of negative. Great memory. So theta is equal to sine inverse 3 over 6. Now, some people go, oh, isn't that a half? Yeah, it's a half. Okay? So sine inverse is in on your calculator. There is a button. It's in a different color. It's on top of the word sine. And it could be a black color or a blue color. You just click that blue or black color and you get... Um, Oh yeah, it's in trig, okay? So it's in trig, there's a button called trig, okay? On your on this calculator, there's a button called trig, you press that trig, and then it has what Ebony said as sine inverse. What is sine inverse half or three over six? Did anyone figure that out? I would say actually practice doing that in the calculator right now, if you get a chance now. So can someone figure out what that is? Sine inverse three over six. Arjun, do you have your calculator? Uh, no. no. Yep. Thirty. Okay. Great. Theta equals to Arjun. So R uh, theta equals to thirty. What does that even mean, Drew? Theta equals to thirty. What are we doing here? Yep. What does that mean? Let's go back to what we're doing. What is what's this whole topic about? Yeah, and what do we do trigonometry? What do we use it for? Trying. Yep, and what do we, what's the whole purpose of uh, this whole topic? Uh, 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 Sorry? Uh, the length? Okay, this topic 4B is on what? You're on the right track. What are we doing in this topic? Finding the? Yeah. Right, okay. That's the whole topic, okay, Elijah? So the whole to oh, okay the whole topic Arjun okay is to find out the unknown angle. This theta is an angle. Okay, a lot of people go through this whole process and they're like, "What am I doing?" Okay, that's what you're doing. This is a process to find out your angle. Okay, your angle is thirty degrees. So when you write your units, you need to write your units down. I'm going to write another question on the board. Okay, I'm going to give you about um yeah. I'm going to put this question up on the board. Okay, I want you to guys to have a go at this question so that you have some practice. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm going to write this question. I'm going to let you guys have a go.